One and all. Bit of a home court advantage. Welcome to Arizona. Yep. Number one state for gun owners, according to Guns and Ammo magazine. Three years running now. We like to think we had something to do with that. I am Dave Kopp, president of Arizona Citizens Defense League. I'd like to thank everybody who belongs to our organization. Everybody who doesn't, I'd like to ask why. There's a membership table right outside. Here in Arizona, we respect everybody's right, constitutionally guaranteed right to carry a gun. Openly, discreetly, doesn't matter here. No matter where you are from, if you're from out of state, feel free. If you're from Arizona, feel free. I really want to thank Stephen for going first from my original home of New York so we can compare and contrast. <laughs> Our main goal here in Arizona is not to be like that. <laughs> The original board of directors of the Arizona Citizens Defense League was completely composed of out-of-staters. Myself from New York, Charles is one of the original founders from Illinois, Fred was from California, was. Duke was also from New York, John, who's not here today, was also from New York. The reason for that is because when you come from somewhere that has lost their freedom, you want to make damn sure that it doesn't happen here. We've been there. We've done that. We don't want to do it again. So we've got it pretty good here in Arizona. As most of you who live here know, we've got a pretty good set of laws. We've got constitutional carry. We've got pretty strong preemption, although it could use a little improvement and we're working on it. We've got pretty strong castle doctrine, no duty to retreat. We finally restored the right that everybody should have, and, and we finally restored it to have your innocence at trial where the state has to prove your guilt instead of the other way around. We, we got that back. We've got a pretty good set of laws. But in all honesty, we're not perfect. I think there's probably some folks from other states who would dispute guns and ammo's rating. And in all honesty, I think we could do better. And that's our goal. That's always our goal at AZCDL is to keep doing better. So there's a few things we're still working on. Uh, anybody who has ever been in a public building in this state has probably seen one of those magic signs that they put up in the door, no firearms. And if you've ever walked through the door and you look around, you say, okay, what else is there? Apparently, the sign is it. You are protected by this sign. Wow. As most of us know, if you're a law-abiding citizen, you walk in, you, you say, okay, where's your locker? You know, check my gun. The bad guys, on the other hand, they're like, yeah, okay, is there a sign? We've been working on that for some years now. The problem that we have is that there's a bunch of uh, politicians, and I'm being polite, that, that they seem to think that the magic sign is enough. And so we've run bills year after year that say, look, if you're gonna have a sign, you need to have security as well. You need to have some sort of metal detector, some sort of guard, because if you're gonna keep firearms out, you need to keep them out for everybody. Only the law abiding pay attention to the sign. Something has to guarantee that the weapon is not walking through the door. Yet, there's a fair number of folks that just seem to think that the sign's good enough. And year after year, the bill doesn't go through. <coughs> a couple of folks have made the point in other states, and it's the same here, well, you know, the Republicans let the bill go through. And a lot of times you hear, you know, we got to elect more Republicans and that'll solve everything. Well, you know, it's not a Republican or a Democrat problem. It's a pro-rights issue. Is your legislator pro-rights? Don't care if he's got an R or D after his name. Is he pro-rights? 
Will he protect your rights? Because if he won't, get rid of him. Throw him out. He's an R, if he's a D, don't care, get rid of him. Because let me tell you, we've been on the scene for 10 years and we've undone gun control laws year after year after year. You know, the Republicans have been in the majority in the state since 1966. That's the year I was born and I'll be 50 next year. So who do you think put all that gun control in place? Don't blame the Democrats. Somebody did it. Pro-rights. Don't care if it's an RRD. Pro-rights. Another big thing we're working on, we've heard the name mentioned. What do we have a problem with? We've got a Bloomberg problem. We've all got a Bloomberg problem. God, I can't even get the name out without choking on it. This guy, if you live in Washington or Oregon, you know what a Bloomberg problem is like. If you live in Nevada or Maine, you're learning. But no matter where you live, you have a Bloomberg problem. And we're going to have one here in Arizona anytime now. And they haven't made any secret about it. They're putting out press releases and articles. We're coming. We're coming. Now, I was talking to Paul from North Carolina last night. He says, you know, he came down here to pass a bill last year and spent a couple of million dollars on media. This guy drops a couple of million dollars like it's nothing. Like you and me, we'll go out and buy a newspaper. A couple of million dollars. Must be nice. But it's not nice for us. So that's our big thing coming this year. We're going to go after public buildings and we're going to go after Mike Bloomberg. Because I don't care how much money he's got. Power to grassroots, right here in this room. We're going to go after Mike Bloomberg and we're going to beat him. We're going to beat him because we've got grassroots behind us. And I don't know about Mike Bloomberg, but I can read a poll. All the polls show the public supports the right to bear arms. The problem is that they cloud the issue with all this media that they pay for. Oh, it's about, you know, little Susie and the bad guys, you know, getting guns and gun shows, and, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got to educate our people first and everybody else after. It's not about little Susie. It's not about bad guys getting guns at gun shows. It's about getting everybody's name in that database so they know where to get the guns. Bloomberg problem, folks. And I gather I am out of time. So remember, Bloomberg problem. Thank you.